is going on, BB Gang? Welcome back to the channel, All Things Strange. Man, we out here. It's nighttime. I'm still about to bring it to y'all, man. Less than 24 hours from this next drop. What do we got? On the VV app, coming from Marvel, House of M number one. So, uh, the question is, are we stacking or slacking? That's the question. So, in order to come to that conclusion, we're going to have to dig in for a little bit, see what's going on. I mean, I think we're all well aware that this is a modern era book. You know, we're slightly familiar with, with the background. Um, you know, let's dig in, man. Let's see what's going on. Gonna hop on over to the medium article real quick. So, as you guys know, right now it is, um, you know, July coming towards the end of July. Uh, it is currently San Diego Comic Con 2022, and um, this is a uh con exclusive comic, you know what I mean. So let's dig into a bit, you know what I'm saying? And we got the medium talking about what they're gonna be doing uh, out there, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple more drops to go. We got the Avengers Tesseract on Saturday, we got the Silver Surfer. And, um, you know, as somebody that's been on the app for a long time since last March, you know what I mean? Um, I could say that at most cons, um, you know, not, I don't even know most. I would say all the cons. No, I don't want to say all the cons necessarily. But at a lot of the cons, they do uh, secret secret drops. You know what I mean? Unannounced drops. Uh, so just to give you all a heads up, if they do it, it would probably be on Sunday. Uh, you know, you got to be just on point, you know, before the normal drop time in the morning. And if it doesn't have happen then, then it might be like two, three in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. So basically, you just want to be on the app and on the homepage, you know, where uh, you would go into drops from. And if something pops up, that's that's where you got to get in, where you fit in and do your thing. So um Let's hop into this comic, man. Let's see what the covers are looking like. You know, background, Avengers, and the X-Men are faced with a common foe that becomes their greatest threat. Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch is out of control, and the fate of the entire world is in her hands. Will Magneto help his daughter or use her powers to his own benefit? Starring the astonishing X-Men and the new Avengers. You know how sometimes you get a phrase and nothing will ever be the same again? Well, this time, believe it. Buster, <laughs> nothing will ever be the same again. Uh, so this release features VV exclusive rare and non rare covers by Rio and Indito and Rachel Rosenberg. So, yeah, we got this drop, it's coming in a couple of hours, coming in hot fast, only 10,000 editions. So, we do got to keep that into account, you know, when it comes to normal real world print runs, especially new age stuff, a book like this. Man, they printed this thing in holy hell, man. So, um, us only having 10,000 digital, official, on a blockchain, VV, Marvel versions of this book. You know, whatever you think that's worth, then, you know what I mean? Do you think? <clears throat> so, yeah, this right here is the common cover. Um, I did take a peek at a couple of other House of M's, and one thing I could tell you I like off the rip, like whether you like this artwork or not, <clears throat> one thing I'll say is they um, have a consistency going on. So like whoever this is doing this cover, um, they pretty much do the main covers it looks like for at least a couple of initial uh, books that I saw, like one through, I don't know, it was four or five or something. Um, so yeah, that's the common cover. Um, personally, I like the artwork. I like the style. It's a little different, you know what I'm saying? It's almost more realistic trying to be than like over embellishing of an animated cartoon, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's different, you know what I'm saying? This cover right here, I really like. Um, one thing I noticed about this co uh, comic 
and we're gonna get into that into in a minute. Um, yeah, that's why. Oh, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. So one thing I noticed about this comic um, that we're gonna get into in a minute um, is once again VV used the same cover multiple times. So yeah, take a look at this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know what you, you think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a dope uncommon. Um, and again, you know, I want to see in the physical versions what they came with. Did they use these exact covers? Like, I know we got um, a rare and ultra rare. These are, you know, BB exclusives. You know, we got artist signature, Bang Bang. Pay attention to that. You know, um, you know, take that into account for whatever you value it as. I think it's worth, you know what I mean? Like, exclusive vv stuff so yeah um dope 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 you know i can't complain about this artwork like how can you um now here we are on the secret rare and doesn't this look a little familiar yeah so vv did this before i think with the captain america book maybe not to the extent of it being the secret rare but i think like the ultra rare and the, uh, the rare and the uncommon look the same or like the common so you know i don't know what's going on with that um so as you can see like basically the difference between this and the other one um is the house of m area so here it's black and white the marvel black and white and uh in this version not so much it looks you know like the real comic you know what i'm saying not grayed out everything's colored in but i think the concept of this like you know she's a character that you know bends and can change reality itself not like professor x get in your head and change your reality that you're living literally and then like she could change literal reality like everybody's reality like that's crazy you know what i mean so it this almost like you know embodies that concept so i think it's kind of dope um not my favorite cover in the world that's for sure but you know it's dope it's dope so, um, yeah, speaking of prices and real world stuff, let's hop on over to, uh, I don't know, man. We're going to hop on maybe Go Collects and see what's popping over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Go Collect, as you can see. Uh, so, yeah, we got the book up. You can see here. Huh? Basically, VV is dropping this on an anniversary somewhat, you know, not exact, but, you know, my birthday is Monday the 25th, you know what I mean? So this book came out on the last day of the month in 2005, which is kind of dope. So here you can see all the artist credits, you know what I'm saying? Joe Casada's in there, Joe Matawara's in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if they're listed because, you know, they worked on variant covers, I'm assuming so. Um, unfortunately, with VV getting two of the exclusive covers, that means we got the common and the uncommon at best being um, the original cover and one of the variants. So anyway, let's see um, what the prices are hitting for according to Go Collect 9.8. Of course, we don't see that, but we could always scale up another, you know, maybe 40 to 50, 60 bucks off of, you know, a 9.6. So we got the 9.6 or 46 bucks. So, you know, like most modern day 9.8s uh, that aren't, you know, a book that goes super crazy, it's going to go for around 100 bucks, maybe a little over, you know what I'm saying? Maybe under, I don't even know. But yes, yeah, so you get an idea, 9.2, 24 bucks and 9.016. So sucks for those people that graded and got those scores. Um... So yeah, we could see some for sale here, you know, and this is the, the current asking prices, you know, 9.6, they want 179. That's a lot more higher than this uh, fair market value they're showing. So, you know, this book could be heating up, you know, that's why I don't always just etch all this stuff, these numbers in stone, because like I said, like, you could look at what sold and again, you gotta look at how long ago it sold, but you know, things could change tomorrow. Any, you know what I'm saying? like public sentiment drives all this stuff and you know there's so many different potential catalysts you know that can make things change like so 
um yeah you can see the prices here so we see here that the 9.6 here is the casada variant you know 190 nothing, nothing crazy you know what i mean it's good just to know here um they got a little graph action on the screen here showing us um the percentages and you know uh all grades like the, the population share you know what i'm saying all of that good stuff like how many is autographed you know what i'm saying so you can see here 8.5 signature makes up 93 i don't know about that but 9.4s man they make up 75 percent of it damn it's only 18 percent of what's out there graded it's a 9.8 which is still 86 bucks you know what i'm saying so take all that into account these are some of the known variants you know what i'm saying um yeah let's dig in a little bit more um hop over to key collectors see what's popping over there hey, all right all right so appreciate you joining me over here on uh key collector as you can see that's the website right there so let's see what they're showing us here um this is a 312 page hardcover graphic novel okay that's not our joint right there at all that's going for 120 it's very interesting um so this is our house of x raw copy i guess this is what they're showing us so on the maximum alters the reality of the Marvel Universe. First appearance of Critty Knoll disguised as Yellow Jacket. Interesting. Okay, so this is the Joe Casada variant, a all time high of 100 bucks. So that's dope. Um, this is a second print run Oliver Coppell for four bucks. Is another variant. Uh, that's going for 10 bucks. Another variant here, 15. Uh, yeah, so basically they picked the most, you know, the most popular sought after. It's Joe Casada. And that's what they picked as the uncommon. So, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. You know, um, I will say this is why I use both websites because, like we saw on the other website, I think it had couple of different covers in here maybe i'm bugging maybe i'm not um so yeah interesting stuff uh book is modern you know it's new but not that new so you know this this book has definitely had time to mature but again you know things are always like a hindsight type of thing like it's like things have to be done in order for something to be popping and even when something's done in real time like how significant it is can't really be measured in real time it, it is measured over time from that point so you know we have drips and drops of this storyline that's pretty much what we've been getting you know with WandaVision and just multiversal stuff all this type of stuff and everything is rooted in Wanda you go watch Doctor Strange movie and it's Wanda mainly um, you know she's the glue to the fabric or whatever you would want to say uh, to a lot of this stuff so yeah so this book itself is significant you know what I'm saying has its potential been realized definitely not you know it being displayed on the big screen hasn't fully flushed out yet you know what I'm saying so um it has tons of potential you know what i'm saying so with that said you know what i mean am i stacking or slacking um it's it's actually a mixed answer um i would say that on the drop i may not go crazy and, and like try and you know secure the maximum amount which is usually five or four i might only go for two just because I, you know, I highly doubt that this does well in the market. So it's like with books like this that I don't have to worry about, oh, I didn't get this or that on the drop. So now I'm going to have to pay this crazy price in the aftermarket. Like 
that's not what this is gonna be. And the reality is like, you know, there's so many more books that are gonna go dumb before this one that I know I can stack this over time, you know, because it's such a long range type of thing to where it even becomes super valuable or, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, we got time, you know, a lot of these modern books, a lot of books that's on the app right now that's down. I don't know how much time we have for all of them. You know, Amazing Spider-Man 50 is extremely low. So many books that are really low. Like, I never thought I'd see them as low. Um, but they're here, and they're that low. So, we got to try and make it as, as, as much as we can make out of it. You know what I'm saying? I would hop over to eBay and all that, but I don't think this is that type of book that, you know, we need to do all that for. So, I ain't going to hold y'all up, man. I just wanted y'all to uh, see what I see. You know what I mean? Take all that into account. Um, like I said, I'm going to be technically slacking on this one. Yeah, I would say I'm slacking just because on a drop, I'm not trying to max out. I'm only going for two. And even in the market, I'm not going on no crazy frenzy, you know, right after the drop. And I'm trying to snipe this and nah, I'm not even doing all that. Man. It's not popping like that because the reality is like, unless you're talking about a drop that has a nice amount of scarcity high levels of popularity and it's literally sought after on our app like the chances of it going up after a drop I mean, you can't get it or it's gonna just come crashing down like an hour or two after it hits some little pump like everything comes back down because it's not no real you know what I'm trying to say so it's like to be honest something like Silver Surfer I don't know what's gonna happen but I think that's gonna be crazy you know what I'm saying like after the drop that's definitely not gonna go down I, I don't see that so you know comics are a little different they, they we have a lot of grails and obviously they're in a position where they're at a comic con they want to drop something nice but you know they have a mutual agreement and understanding that like the app is not where they want it to be yet they're still in beta technically so they I, I've heard them say a couple times I don't know what you guys hear that we know maybe maybe not but I hear them say multiple times in, in the past that like they don't want to drop the like really crazy stuff until you know they have a queue system the web app working cash out going all these different things you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day like it's great investors are on the app it's great that whales are on the app but it's not really built for y'all really built for collectors you know what i'm saying or whatever else is the happenstance of what comes along with having something that's like sought after and in a limited run and in a digital form on the blockchain so that's where the money part, part comes in and the value part but other than that that's who they're making it for so they're gonna hold back the crazy ips they already got and the crazy stuff with the ips they already got they're gonna hold that back till we got the queue system until we got mcp so that real the real collectors are the ones that have a shot of getting it you know what i'm saying so don't look for no crazy you know what i'm saying we might get that one grail we might get that one grail we all know what it is we might get that but i don't see that now i see that at the next comic con you know what i'm saying amazing fantasy 15 man. like that's next Comic Con. That's not now. That, that doesn't even equate right. And plus, they already told us what we'll begin. So, other than the secret drop that I tell y'all routinely happens at a lot of these cons, other than us getting it then, I would say let's, you know, temper our expectations to August. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to hold y'all too much longer, man. Just wanted to come at y'all with this um, preview of this drop we got coming in a couple hours, man. And wish y'all good luck. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do hit that red word that says subscribe. Smash the like button. YouTube likes when we use the word smash. Uh, I like smash, but I'm just saying smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Leave me a comment, man. Let me know what y'all doing with this. You stacking the slacking. Maybe you know something about this. I don't. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the Marvel books, I'm a little, a little, a little foggy. You know what I'm saying? So. Let me know. Is it worth it or what? What do you think? Man? But, uh, yeah, man. That's it, man. Go hold y'all up. Appreciate y'all stopping by. All Things Strange is out.